Welcome to this AliCAD User Guide Tutorial 3 on more advanced drawings. In this tutorial, we will discuss the Hatch function. This function allows you to insert hatch patterns. You can also insert hatch patterns with islands and exclusions. If you've not already done so, check out our other tutorials. To begin with, you can either draw up something to add hatch to, or download the drawing used in this tutorial from the AliCAD website. Select Draw, Hatch, and the Hatch options will be displayed in the control bar. Click on the Settings button to display the Hatch Parameters window. Here you can select a Hatch style. There are 217 Hatch patterns. You can set the Scale, Rotation, and select a Color. Once you have made your selection, click OK. The six buttons on the left of the control bar allow you to choose a method to define the hatch perimeters. The hatch boundaries can be defined by using circles, rectangles, polygons, selecting entities that make up a boundary, selecting entities that intersect to make up a boundary, or by tracking the perimeter. We will work through the various hatch boundary options starting with a the circle. There are a number of ways to hatch a circle as it is a closed entity. We'll start with the circle option though. Select the circle's hatch boundary option and you are prompted to indicate the center of the circle. Move to the center of the circle and press the E key to jump to the center. Press enter to indicate this point. You are now prompted to enter a point on the radius. Move the cursor to the circumference and press N to jump onto the circumference and enter to accept the point. The hatch appears, but if you escape, the hatch will disappear. You need to accept the hatch. Right-click and select Accept. This will lock the hatch in this position. Click on the Settings button and select a new hatch pattern and color. We will now add hatch to a rectangle and add an island to it. Select the rectangle hatch boundary and you are prompted to indicate the first corner of the rectangle. Select the grab or snap and snap onto the top left hand corner of the rectangle. We are prompted for the second corner. Snap onto the bottom right hand corner of the outer rectangle and the rectangle is hatched. Note now that AliCAD prompts for boundary 2. Repeat this using the inner rectangle and the island is created. Right click and select accept to lock the hatch pattern in this position. Click on the settings button again and select a new hatch pattern and color. Select the polygon boundary hatch option and you are prompted to indicate the start position of the polyline. Select the grab or snap and snap onto one of the corners of the shape. Continue to click around the shape and you'll see the boundary starting to take form. Once finished, right click and select finished. Right click and select accept to lock the hatch in that position. The next example has been drawn as a closed polyline and has a circle. Both are entities so we can use the entities hatch option. A line and arc are also entities and you could use this function to select each one individually and create a boundary. Select the settings button and change the hatch pattern and color. Select the entities boundary option and you are prompted to indicate the entity to add. Click inside the rectangular shape. Right click and select accept. Right click and quit. Select draw, hatch. And the hatch options will be displayed in the control bar. This time click on the pick button and select one of the hatch patterns you would like to use that have already been used in the drawing. Select the Entities Hatch Boundary option again 
and click inside the circle and it is hatched. Right click and select accept. Right click and select quit. Select draw, hatch and click on the settings button. Select a new hatch style and color. This time we'll use the intersection hatch boundary option. Click on the first entity and then on the entities as they intersect. If the entity you select does not intersect the last selected entity, you'll receive the following warning. Select the entities as they intersect and the hatch is added. Right click and click on its accept. Right click and quit. Select draw, hatch and click on the settings button. Select a hatch style and color that you would like to use and click OK. Click on the automatic tracking hatch boundary option and make sure that the track selection and the detect islands options are not selected. Click inside the perimeter of the area that you'd like hatched, near the perimeter, and the hatch is added. Right click and click accept to set the hatch in place. Select the automatic tracking hatch boundary option once again, and this time click on the track selection option. Move inside the perimeter of the shape that you'd like to hatch and click, and the hatching is added. Move inside the perimeter of the circle to island the circle out and click and the island is added. Right click and click on accept. Once again select the automatic tracking hatch boundary option. This time select the detect islands option. Move inside the perimeter of the area that you'd like hatched and click. With the detect islands areas are islanded out automatically. Right click and select accept to set the hatching in its place. Right click and quit to end the hatch function. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about Alicad.